These are extraordinary times, and extraordinary times call for prayer and the Word. Welcome to Pure Love Ministries. You have not come here by mistake. This is God's doing. Multi-denominational worship where everyone has a voice, and the Holy Spirit leads by activating God-given gifts in you. Join Pastor Wayne Stoddard and team on Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Love is our central theme. You will be blessed. So my goal today, my approach today, even as I, I, I wanted it to come across, as I'm trying to reintroduce Yeshua, but more importantly, I am. I want to charge you to say, follow Christ, mm -hmm. follow Yeshua, follow Jesus, open the word of God, read the word, look at his lifestyle. So, okay, he did this. Why did he do it? Why am I not doing it? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's the approach I think we should take. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, I wanted to be interactive today. So I'm going to throw out some questions. We're going to muse and go through the word. And I, I'm going to welcome you to respond accordingly. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Pastor Wayne, for praying. I come in agreement with that praying. I come in agreement with that covering. And I pray that flesh will be slain and that the spirit of God will be glorified. I pray that every heart will be touched. Mm -hmm. I pray that um, there will be a watering take place. I pray that increase will take place. I pray that every spirit of disobedience will be removed. I pray that yes. hearts and hearts will be softened yes. in the mighty name of Yeshua. I come against even now the spirit of rebellion. I come against the spirit of religion, disobedience. Obedience. I bind fear right now mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Yeshua. Fear that is preventing you into walk into that purpose and plan. I realize that fear is such an enemy. Many times the things that we are supposed to do to fulfill the calling of God, it's fear. Mm -hmm. And fear works in opposition to faith. Yes. You understand the word of God? So without faith, it is impossible to please him because yes. he that cometh to God must believe that he is mm -hmm. and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yes. But you know what? The devil is a liar because he wants you to believe that if I step out on faith, yes. if I fast, if I pray, if I diligently seek him, I will not be rewarded. Yes. Because God, how many of you know that God operates? in his perfect timing and his perfect will and we know the story even right now before i get into the word the holy spirit is bringing me there and i love it the story of Exodus, mm -hmm. and we keep coming back to it. Yes. We are the children of Israel. They saw Moses going up onto the mountain, and because Moses didn't return in the timing yes. that they think he should have returned, they mm -hmm. started rebelling, going back to their old ways and their old disobedience. Mm -hmm. And many of you as people of God, because God hasn't responded to you in the time of that you want him to respond to you decide that listen i'm going to try and help god we know the story of abraham with hagar and sarah how because the child the chosen child didn't come forth when Sarah thought that he should have come forth, mm -hmm. she decided to help God. Yes. And we don't want to fall into the trap of helping God. Yes. We want God to do things according to his timing. We want to be synchronized and syncopated mm -hmm. to the timing and will of God. Mm -hmm. Because if you step out of the timing and will of God, it's a whole mess. And many of us, we have stepped out of the timing and will of God and been there. And because of that, yes, God said he's going to restore the years, the locusts or the canker worm have stolen. But I have that to go through that process. Mm -hmm. I had to be like restart because there are consequences to yes. your action. Yes. There are consequences mm -hmm. to sin. And yes, God has you on that path of righteousness, mm -hmm. but it's taking time. Yes. You're supposed to go on part A and you end up on part B. Oh God, the word of God is so true, people. The children of Israel is a perfect example of disobedience. The children of, ex of Israel is a perfect example of people operating in fear rather than faith Come because on. of their fear mm -hmm. because of their lack of faith yes. they spent 40 years through the wilderness yes. something that should have happened earlier yes. so fear is your enemy people of mm -hmm. god Fear is the enemy and God wants you to move in faith. Yes. Listen for the word of God. Listen for his timing. Look at the signs he's showing you. He revealed it to you in dreams many times. He revealed it to you through pastors and preachers and the word of God. Yes. And stop operating in faith, mm -hmm. operating, uh, stop operating in fear. My apologies. And choose to operate in, in faith. Fear. In faith. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. I think the spirit of God wanted someone to hear that. And I pray that you will take heed. Now back to the word of God, right? Um, as I said, my goal here, my, 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 my mission here is to reintroduce you to Yeshua. Yes. 
we introduce you to Jesus Christ as you may call him mm -hmm. and to encourage you and implore you to follow him don't follow man hmm. don't follow just pass an evangelist no. when they said you get into the follow word christ. of god for yourself and follow christ, follow christ. Yes. everything is gonna pass as the saying say and it's only what is done for christ will last hmm. stop looking at man hmm. stop watching the political system the economy system yes we need to be aware because we don't want to be one with our head in our clothes. Yeah. But the word of God, the teaching of God, the Holy Spirit should be your ultimate guide. Yes. The news should not be your ultimate guide. Sorcery should not be your ultimate guide. Prophet should not be your ultimate guide. Teachers should not be your ultimate guide. Your ultimate guide should be the word of God. Yes. The word of God, even through God himself. So listen, I honor my word above my name. And if he's going to say that to you, he means that it's important for you to follow his word. Amen. Amen. So I come now and I ask you the same question. First question, I ask you to follow Christ. I'm going to set up a template. And one of the templates I know we're familiar with, everybody's supposed to have some social media, right? Mm -hmm. How many of you have a social media account of some sort? and basically follow people on that account. Go ahead, post it in the chat. Hmm. How many of you have some social media account? It may be LinkedIn if you want to keep it professional. Mm -hmm. And you know, back then they had High Five, you have the Snapchat, you have the TikTok, mm -hmm. you have um, the Facebook. Mm -hmm. Everybody have a social Instagram. media account. You have the Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. So we all can relate. We are all on the same page. I'm speaking everyone's language, perfect. Now, how many of you had to do a request to follow someone? Either it's a friend request or it's a page that you wanted to be a part of. You had to submit a request, right? Yes. Anybody have ever had to do that? I know that with the kids them on, on, on Facebook, I, if I'm following the, the school, the high school, I would have to make, make a request. They don't just automatically let me in. And they normally give you questions. They normally ask you, does your child actually go to this school? Mm -hmm. What's the teacher's name? Because they want to make sure that, listen, you're not you're, coming there to troll you're them. <laughs> you're affiliated with it, right, Pastor? Yes, yes. Even Pastor has a couple of pages. And yes. after a while, we have to start approving people because yes. people come on your page and they do all kind of things. <laughs> They're all kind of craziness yeah. being posted. Half naked. <laughs> Half naked pictures. They'll be basically spamming you on your yes. social media. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure that your page maintains that integrity. So yes. you have to approve it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they have to approve you. Mm -hmm. I know Minister Candy, she has a health and wellness page. Mm -hmm. And based on the objective of that page, she asks health questions. What is your health goal? Yes. You know, what do you hope to, appe hope to achieve yes. of being a part of this page? Yes. Everyone can relate. Most people can relate. I see the hands up. And Minister Candy said, even on Zoom, yes. you have to protect it. You still have it. to protect, yes. Mm -hmm. So now you have that idea. So the people that you follow, and the people that follow you, you basically get to know them a little bit, you know? Mm. I follow comedians, you may follow some people actresses, some people follow singers. You kind of keep up to breast on what their life is about, yes. right? And likewise, if um, you're choosing someone who to follow you, yes. you basically, they get an insight into your life. Yes. So it, go, it goes both ways. Yes. It may be a surface and a fake thing, so to speak, because people only put it's out sometimes yeah. on social media. The things that they want people to what see. What they want people <laughs> to see yes. i know personally i'm not afraid to say i don't post pictures on facebook normally because i don't think i take good pictures so when you see i put a picture out i say okay <laughs> it doesn't look too bad it got my good side so people put you don't out have a there <laughs> you don't have a bad side. <laughs> so people tend to put out there um what they want people to see right mm -hmm. now imagine that you're sure in this modern days, you know, and don't don't get me into the doctrine, the theology and the timing. We know that he had to come at the time and everything. But just imagine with me that Yeshua walked to the earth and this time. Mm -hmm. Probably he would not have had a social media page, you know, but people would create these unofficial pages as mm -hmm. they do they for do people. That for celebrities, yes. And for celebrities. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the paparazzi will go up there, they put all the pictures and, mm -hmm. you know, they make it seem as if that's the person but that's why people nowadays celebrities they have to put the official page of so and so the official mm -hmm. page of denver Stutter. because when you become a celebrity people create these fake pages knock of you pages, yeah. and these knockoff pages now imagine that yeshua walked the earth and just say that he had a social media account mm -hmm. maybe that someone created for it created for him or anything maybe he had a pr person who knows i'm not gonna go there mm -hmm. what is it about him 
and I, and I would like your comments. What is it about him that would want you to follow him? Hmm. You want to give me, whether you want to give me the whole scriptural basis, oh, he died for my sins, whether you want to get all spiritual about it, but what is it about Yeshua? If he created a social media page right now in this time, what is it about him that will make you want to follow him? And, and I would love to see your comments coming across. Hmm. What would make you want to friend Yeshua on social media? What, what pictures do you think you will see on there? Maybe you see all the miracles being performed. <laughs> Maybe you see him being translated. Oh, Yeshua was in New York one minute ago. Now he is in Budapest performing miracles. You're like, what? <laughs> How did that happen? Because, you know, he did it to Philip. So what would make you want to follow him? You, you, you know, Evangelist, um, you asked that question. And the first question that pops in my head is that, um, would I be comfortable to make Christ be my friend and just scroll through my page and see all the things that and are that's posted coming up. on your And page. that's coming up. So right now, people are saying they will follow him for the healing, they will mm -hmm. follow him for the love, for mm -hmm. kindness, for helpfulness, mm -hmm. for liberation, freedom, salvation, his personality. I yes. like that one, mm -hmm. just the personality. Mm -hmm. Now the flip is there. Because remember earlier, I tell you that normally you follow people, but people follow you. Mm -hmm. Now as Pastor Wayne said, <laughs> what is it about you that will want him want that will make him want to follow you accept your friendship <laughs> why would he accept your friend request because to tell you the truth you know with me when i'm accepting requests you know and i as some people i know but if i don't know them i'm gonna have to click on the page because i'm trying to say how did i know this person um did we go to school together did we work together and then sometimes i see some weird pictures where oh this is lover boy there's no shirt i'm like mm, you have a different intention like decline so when he flips to your page now what will make he want to follow you him want to follow is he immediately gonna say oh that's my child then but there oh oh i i know her let, let me just accept oh yeah she's one of mine oh no this is one of the scribes and the pharisees i don't have time for them <laughs> what is it do you think that self-examination if you want to put out a request what will make you sure want to accept your friend request or choose to follow you somebody said right michael said so maybe just grace Mm -hmm. You understand? Somebody else, somebody put, I'm going to make Jesus laugh all day. <laughs> and that's just somebody shot. says nothing because of who he is. Mm -hmm. And he, somebody says to inherit the promise. And, and that's, it's word for us to consider. You understand? What, what will make him want to follow us? And now I'm going to go to our first scripture. Matthew chapter 8. And this particular scripture, I'm kind of reading it from the NLT version. And it says... <clears throat> When Jesus saw the crowd around him, he instructed his disciples to cross to the other side of the lake. Then one of the leaders, one of the teachers of religious law said to him, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. <laughs> but Jesus replied, listen, foxes have dens to live in, birds have nests, but the son of man has no place to lay his head. Another of his disciples said, Lord, first let me return home and bury my father. Hmm. But Jesus told him, follow me now. Let the spiritually dead bury their own dead. Mm -hmm. The point I want to make from this is that we all fall into it. You know, we see people from a distance. Even sometimes the celebrity, so to speak, that we follow, we, we have a surface imagery of them. You know, it looks good on the outside when we see people and we see their lifestyle. To follow Yeshua, it may have looked good on the outside to say, yes, we're seeing the miracles. The glamour and the glitter. The glamour and the glitter. We're mm -hmm. seeing the healing. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the son of God. Mm -hmm. I want to be associated. Yes. I want to say, Yeshua, the son of God yes. is on my head. I was rolling with him yesterday. I was rolling. <laughs> if I can just get a picture, yep. a selfie, selfie with him oh, and yeah. say, oh, this is me and Yeshua, you know, oh, the healer. Yep. Oh, yes. You know what? I want to be translated with him. I yep. want to travel the world yep. with him. Mm -hmm. I want to be on his fan page. Mm -hmm. I'm the number one fan. So it looks good on the outside. And we see the miracles and we want to be associated with someone famous. But when it comes to do the work and to pay the price of commitment, many people shy away. Mm. Because they, they just saw Yeshua working miracles and they said to him, listen, basically what Yeshua was saying in that Matthew 8 script, he said, listen, I don't have a house, you know, I don't want to live anywhere. Mm -hmm. Can you commit to not living here yes. and being a nomad and wandering? Mm -hmm. 
He said, listen, I have no ties to family right now because I'm doing the will of God. Mm -hmm. You want to go bear appearance? Can you just walk away now? I said, listen, um, sorry, mom, dad, brother, you buried them. I have to go and fulfill the call of God. Because many times I think that's how we come into this whole Christianity religion when we come into this relationship we see it for the glamour and the glitter and sometimes we make it look all good so oh, christianity is a whole bed of roses mm -hmm. yes i'm saved i'm delivered i'm walking see and the word of god says we should walk in it yes mm -hmm. but it's not all that bed of roses yes and sometimes i'm, I'm reminded of a marriage relationship mm -hmm. you know we want to say yes when i said oh yes i want to get married the prince charming is gonna mm -hmm. come he's gonna sweep me off my feet yes. Yes, you is. know that like the fairy tales yeah. oh yes you did <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to live happily ever after but we didn't know that there's a commitment and yes. a responsibility and yes. that marriage is work and family is work mm -hmm. we just see it on the outside on the surface to say oh I'm getting a companion I'm getting a man all that but we don't want to do the, we don't work, want to think about work. the yes. hard work in it yes. <clears throat> now the next scripture that I was looking at is Matthew chapter 4 and we see in Matthew chapter four, the flip of it. Mm -hmm. Because Yeshua is just telling these little leaders and disciples that, listen, it's hard work, you know. Mm -hmm. You're careful what you're committing to, you understand? But now in Matthew chapter four, if you look at verse 18, he's basically handpicking people. Mm -hmm. Of course, in this, and the backdrop to this verse is that he basically met some of them already. Mm -hmm. Now he's making the call official. Yes. So Matthew chapter four, and from verse 18, it says, one day, as Yeshua, as I call him, Jesus, walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew, throwing a net into the water for their fish for a living. Jesus called out to them, come follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. Yes. And they left their nests at once and followed him mm -hmm. a little farther up the shore he saw two other brothers james and john sitting in a boat with their father zebedee repairing the nets and he called to them come to they immediately followed him leaving the boat and their father behind now i'm gonna look at it i wonder okay what was it about what's so them special about these boys that, that let him choose them you know <laughs> the other people are throwing Fisher themselves men. at his feet and say i will follow you jesus they ain't got no no. House. <laughs> these people god hand picked he just walked mm. and said come follow me wow. it's a whole different sermon why when they stop in the middle of the job in the middle of the work mm -hmm. drop the nets and follow mm -hmm. you know but what was it about them do you think mm. that made him choose them mm -hmm. matthew 16 verse 24 says then she said jesus unto his disciples if a man mm -hmm. will come after me and this scripture applies to us if we are going to follow us. him yes let him deny himself mm -hmm. take up his cross mm -hmm. and follow me Hallelujah. for whosoever will save his life shall lose it mm -hmm. and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it mm -hmm. That scripture, people of God, mm -hmm. is basically called talking about self-denial. Yes. Because a cross symbolizes the death that he was going to. It symbolizes a death to self. Yes. Now, when I see that he called these apostles and these disciples and they just drop everything and come to him, I ask myself the question, hmm. could it be that Yeshua discerned self-denial in his disciples? Wow. Could it be that already he could see that, listen, these men are willing to leave everything committed, to follow committed, me. Yeah. Is, it, is it that he saw that they were going to be committed? committed? Mm -hmm. You know, Pastor Wayne so, sing a song, committed. Oh, oh, guys, committed to the path. Committed to the path. Submissive to the submissive task. To the task. Mm -hmm. Is it that, that he discerned that was in them? Wow. Could he discern that in us right now? Wow. And therefore he will say, okay, let me accept this friend request. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yes, let me accept it from this one. Hallelujah. Have we as Christians then, I'm going to ask the question, misinterpreted? And, and when, I, when I think about that, it, it really pulls at my heart too oh, because there's goodness. so many of the scriptures that I have misinterpreted. There are so many doctrines as, as Yeshua calls it, doctrines of devils and mm -hmm. man-made laws years. that yeah. I have followed over the years. Yes. Could it be that as Christians, we have misinterpreted or forgotten what it means to be a follower of Yeshua? 
taking a picture. Have we forgotten that being a Christian, as we call them, mm -hmm. before that? You know what? And to, to cut on that, they were first called Christians in Antioch. Mm -hmm. I think it's Acts chapter 11. Don't quote me on that. Yes. Before that, they were called the followers, the followers. of the way. Followers of the way. What is the, the way? way you know? <laughs> but... Could it be that we have misinterpreted or forgotten what it means to be a follower of Yeshua? Mm. So as I come down, that's just my introduction. So the sermon is just going to be a minute because the introduction have it all. Let's get, let me charge you right now in this next moment. Let's get reacquainted with our Lord and Savior. Let's reintroduce ourselves to Yeshua. Let's reintroduce ourselves to the being that we strive to follow up. Follow. And I can't go through this without taking the opportunity to big up my Lord, my Savior, because when I think about him, he shed blood, when I think about his word and his promises, I have to take the opportunity as an evangelist, to, to evangelist as well to say, listen, let me pause and tell you who is it. First of all, who is Yeshua? Hmm. If I wanted to find out about somebody in these days, you know, when I'm hiring people on my job, the first place I go on LinkedIn, wow. I go on Facebook, even you sometimes you don't even call into the offices for a background check, you know, <laughs> because the Facebook that they put out there, the LinkedIn, but especially their, their social media page is very telling about who you're going to hire. Mm. So that's why I always say to young people, careful what you put out there because employers are looking there. Hmm. But if I wanted to get a proper background of who someone is, I would look to see if they have an autobiography out there. Did they write anything about themselves? Did they tell their life story? If I'm trying to get something about an official person that I'm going to admire, is there a biography out there? Did someone write their life story from their perspective? Maybe some of you may go to Google reviews. Maybe you go to news reports. Mm -hmm. You're trying to just get an accurate angle of who is it. Have many of us taken the time to find out many times who is it that we are really following? Who is it Yeshua? Who is it the Christ? Because many of us think that we really know him and we're really following him. But are we really? One place, because I love to take shortcuts in these times, shortcuts in a good way. If I can find a source that tells me the autobiography, the biography, the third party reviews, because, you know, sometimes the good thing with Google reviews is that should be independent persons who have checked you out or checked out your service, they'll put a review out there. Is there one place that I can go to that will have all of this? There's one place. It is a holy Bible, the Hallelujah. word of God. You, it Jesus. has the autobiography where he writes about himself. Mm -hmm. It has biography where people write about Glory. him. Hallelujah. It has the third party reviews, the third party witness accounts. Yes. It has the prophets, people who knew him yes. before he Personal was born yes. and entered the world. Mm -hmm. They were talking about him. Yes. Can you imagine before you Hallelujah. even touch before you were even formed in the in the womb, before you even came upon this world, mm -hmm. somebody said, Oh. This is Denver. She will be coming. She's going to be this. She's going to be doing. The peace like, of peace conquering. I'm like, <laughs> he wasn't even born yet. But someone Hallelujah. knew about him that he yes, was coming. Yes. The Holy Bible. So therefore, if I am trying to reintroduce myself to Yeshua, if I'm trying to make sure that I'm a Christian lined yes. up to how he should be, I need to find out and reintroduce myself. I owe him that much to find out who it is. If we are following an artist or an actress or people out there, you want to find out who it is. You jump on Wikipedia. You said, mm -hmm. okay, I'm like, I do that. Like, I'm, I'm like, who is this? I want to find out where they were born, where they are from. We have a happy, sometimes we do it like, oh, is that person Jamaica? We check the background. Oh, let's see where they were born. The parents. Many times I look at these biographies too and these documentaries. And sometimes I'm like, Lord, what happens in these people's lives, right, their so background? Them, yes. And then when I check many times, I say, oh, they had this tragic thing happening. Oh, this happened with their parents. Yes. You know, so it's, it's good to see the background because I want to know who made this person who they are. It's like on um, Friday night and I'm going to give shout out to the youths. I'm looking yes. and I'm like, oh, who are these kids' parents? <laughs> what was their training? How Did they, they go to class? How is it that they're so talented? So what dynamic. is their inspiration? Yes. How did they become so dynamic? Because I want to know what the influence is to bring them into who they are. So the word of God, the Holy Bible, 
is what I go to for my resource. Mm -hmm. So as I go through the Bible, and, and indeed, there's so many scriptures about Yeshua, my Lord and Savior, but there's some that was helpful that told me who he said he was, mm -hmm. who people said he is, mm -hmm. and they're just third-party inspections, you know? Yes. So we therefore, in the mouth of two or three witnesses, the yes. word of God says, let everything be established. established. If you're in the court of law, one person can't just put you yes. to one eyewitness mm -hmm. account where it won't work. Yes. And mm -hmm. the laws in the Bible spoke about it. It says that two or three person has to give that eyewitness account that somebody did something. Yes. <clears throat> First of all, I like this one. Who is my Lord and Savior? John 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. Hmm. So first of all, even if you drop off of this Zoom or you drop, drop off of this Facebook chat, I want to make it sure to you that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, is the Son God. of God, mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. is God. Hallelujah. And that he that worship him must worship him in spirit and Hallelujah. in truth. Glory. Because one day he's going to come back for this world, mm -hmm. and if you do not have his mark, if you have not accepted him, if you have not confessed him, you, you'll be going to a devil's hell. Yes. So even if you go from now, you can say that you have that gospel message of who he is. Mm -hmm. John 14, 6. And I'll be doing different versions from this for emphasis. John 14, 6 says, Jesus said to him, this is Jesus giving his autobiography. He's mm -hmm. telling you who he <laughs> is. He says, I am the way mm -hmm. and the truth mm -hmm. and the life. Mm -hmm. No one comes to the father Hallelujah. except through, him, through me. Let me let that soak in a minute. <clears throat> hmm. He went on in John 10, 10. John wrote and said, he said that, I and the father are one. <clears throat> John 8, 58, Jesus said to him, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I, I am. Hmm. And it's called prayer and the word, you know, so I'm going to give you the word. Give because us the many word. of us, when I read the Bible, you know, yes. so whenever read we get first. to read the scriptures, <laughs> that's why period of ministry Saturday morning times, many times, Minister Kelly, so whoever has to divide it in two. Yes. Because we're going to read all the scripture, we're going to read it in context, we're not just picking out one verse for yes. you, and just one verse and preach and teach it. You need context. to know the full context. Yes. <laughs> Revelation 1 verse 8. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, mm -hmm. says the Lord God, who is and was and who is to come. Yes. I'm reintroducing you to the one that you follow, the Lord and Savior, Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Yes. I call him Yeshua Amashiah, yes. the King of Kings, Hallelujah. the Lord of Lords. Be your name. Daniel 7, 13 to 14, it yes. says, I saw in the night visions mm -hmm. and behold, with the clouds of heaven, there came one like a son of man. Hallelujah. And he came to the ancient of days and was presented before him. Yes. And to him was given dominion <laughs> and glory Hallelujah. and kingdom yes. that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion mm. which shall not pass away mm. and his kingdom one that shall not be destroyed. Hallelujah. He's the one that I follow and worship. Hmm. First Timothy 2 verse 5 this is um, an eyewitness account, or this is a testimony of someone experiencing Timothy. Paul, who wrote it, Paul writing a letter to Timothy, said, For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. Matthew 16, 13 to 17. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? Hmm. And they said, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you Ooh. say that I am? Yes. Simon Peter replied, excuse me, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, mm -hmm. for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, yes. but my father who is in heaven. Yes. I have a few more because I want you to make sure you know who you're following, who you're making the friend request to. Colossians 2 verse 9, for in him the whole fullness of the deity dwells bodily. <clears throat> Hebrews 2 verse 9, but we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. Hmm. 
I'm following somebody who is willing to die for me, who has already died for me. I'm not following any fake actress, no paparazzi, no musician who don't even have a clue who I am, who they're making their money and making money off me. Listen to me. <laughs> I am following somebody who laid all his life for me and who's going to come back one day for me. Mm -hmm. Many times, I, of course, sometimes you sit down and you watch something, but sometimes I have to look at Pastor Wayne and say, <clears throat> Pastor Wayne, you know what? They're going to work on the business. These people already made their millions their and money. their dollars and made their money. I hear sitting sit down watching, watching you continue to make your money off of me. Let me go and focus on my business and I make some money and then have some people doing that for me. Yeah. <laughs> So I am watching and I'm following somebody. I'm in the world with somebody that I know I am going to get a benefit mm. and it's not just a one-way street. <clears throat> Hebrews 2 verse 9, who am I following? Who am I worshiping? Who I want to see me and say, yes, I want you to be my friend. Hebrews 2 verse 9 says, but we see him for a little while was made lower than the angels. Yes. Okay, I said that already, but let's do it again. Namely, Jesus crowned with glory and honor mm -hmm. because of the suffering of death mm -hmm. so that by the grace of Christ, he might taste death for everyone. Mm -hmm. Not just for me, mm -hmm. for, for everyone. everyone. Yes. John 1, 1 to 3 again says, in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word is God. He was in the beginning with God. Mm. <laughs> Let me tell you something. He was, listen, I, I mean, I boast that I know Yeshua. You know, you're doing the selfies. Yes. But bigger than Yeshua, we know the concept of the Trinity. Is God himself the creator? Yes. Can you imagine I'm rolling with somebody who knows who was there from the beginning of creation hallelujah, of time? Hallelujah, hallelujah. It says all things were made through him and without him was nothing made that was made. Yes. I'm reintroducing you if you are a, if you are unsaved, mm -hmm. if you are a backslider, yes. I'm telling you to come and follow this man that I'm following mm -hmm. because I'm telling you who he is. If you follow him, you cannot lose. Mm -hmm. Colossians 1 verse 16 says, For by him all things were created mm -hmm. in heaven and on earth, mm -hmm. visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. Mm. The people that you're following were created by him. <laughs> the things that you want, the things that you're even afraid of were created by him. Yes. So it makes, makes sense that I get on the side of him because if he's on my side, the original. all right. I, I, I want to follow the original, not a copy. Not a copy. <laughs> you understand? If you ever watch That's these right. old, old stories and these old westerns and these old gang stories they would have where they're trying to get there's always a bigger boss yes mm -hmm. i want to be in line with the big big yeah, bigger yeah. boss you don't want to talk with the squad i don't want to talk to the squad that they can't help me because <laughs> the squad is going to refer me to something i'm like listen i want to be in line with mm -hmm. the top of top mm -hmm. so that when i come and talk and ask i can say listen this is who i'm rolling with and you know, evangelist, just to interject here, yes, in our Bible study, we are talking about um, the whole matter of Moses and Moses asking God for certain information. Yes. And certain, um, I, 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 Sister, Sister JJ always remind me of this word, but um, I have it locked now, Sister JJ, to, to validate himself mm -hmm. and verify himself when it comes to the mm -hmm. protocols, mm -hmm. the protocols of, 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 of Pharaoh. Yes. Because when a lot of times, when we are going to go into spiritual warfare, mm. demonic forces, as you see with yes. the sons of Sceva, ah. they want to know the authority in whom you come. Exactly. You understand? Yes. And so <coughs> notice when the demon, even the man that was possessed with the legions yes. of demons, yes. that man, the first thing as the demons run into Christ, they were like, oh, Jesus, son of God. They knew who he was and knew his authority. Thank you, Sister Nesha, the highest authority above him. That is the reason why we call him the most high. high. There yes. is none that is higher none than like him. him. And so when you think about God and, and the title and the realm that he sits, he's Alpha and Omega. Yes. Above him, there's none. Before him, there's none. none. Behind him, none. there's none. No he is higher than the highest. He's, he, he's just, he's, when you say Alpha and Omega, God God stands outside of time hey. and looks at hey. time and say, where are you in time? Because yes. you have to exist in time. Exactly. I don't exist in time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? I stand, I stand outside. outside of it mm -hmm. and look at time. Yes. So, so, so when you talk about him, and that's why Moses now, back to Moses, Moses was saying that, listen, I need to be validated. I need to go to Pharaoh who thinks he is a God. Ah. 
and not come saying that boy I was sent by Jetro. Yes, uh, you know, and, and, Jetro is a who is Jetro? Who is exactly. Jetro? Jetro is a sheep herder. I don't mm-hmm. care if he's a priest mm-hmm. or whatever of yes, Midianite. Yes. He's, he doesn't no stand rank. as fear sees himself as a god. Yes. So now this is uh, bring it home to us. Uh, Moses understood that for him to step into that level of spiritual warfare, yes. he need to go with the name of Christ. Oh. He need to go with the highest of the I high. Am. He wanted to go with the most high. And God said, listen what? I am not even going to give you a name to go with. I'm going to mm. say when you're stand before him i'm gonna put on a robe on you that when he yes. sees you he sees that you come in the authority of yes, a god yes, i'm gonna make yes, you a god yes, to him yes so 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 when we talk about everything that you're saying here about christ one of the big thing about it is just to know that we are umbrella under yes. and we come in his name and understanding what his name represents yes, yes. in the spiritual yes. realm in the earth realm in the universe in the existence of existence yes 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 <laughs> it's Pastor. a powerful thing when you touch and talk about colossians and you talk about yeah, john definitely <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and i could not do it any justice about follow, talking about the following up and the following up issue it, it takes so many aspects i'm just yes. going to focus on one today mm. but i could not do it justice by coming and reintroducing you to the authority of who he is and who he is and who wow. is it that you're following wow you know revelations 21 1 Come to 27 <laughs> it says then i saw a new heaven mm-hmm. if you don't believe in heaven and hell the word of god here is saying there's going to be a new heaven mm-hmm. and a new earth mm-hmm. for the first heaven and the first earth that we live into right now mm-hmm. <clears throat> was passed away. i passed away mm-hmm. and the sea was no more yeah and i saw the holy city new jerusalem coming down out of heaven from god mm-hmm. prepared as a bride adorned for her husband Mm -hmm. and i heard a loud voice from the throne saying behold the dwelling place of god is with man he will dwell with them and they will be his people and god himself will be with them as their god Mm -hmm. he will wipe away every tear from their eyes Mm -hmm. and death shall be no more neither shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain anymore for the former things have passed away And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, Mm -hmm. I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 1 verse 3 says, He is the radiance of glory of God Mm -hmm. and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. Mm -hmm. After making purification for sins, Mm -hmm. he sat down at the right hand of the majesty of high. Mm -hmm. Almost getting to them. Colossians 1 verse 17 And he is before all things, and in him were all things hold together. And the last one, Colossians 1 verse 15, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Hmm. He is the one that you want to make sure that you follow and that you friend Mm -hmm. and that also follow and friend you. Mm -hmm. Because at least if you are sleeping, can catch you and say, listen, (laughs) remember who I am. Mm -hmm. Keep back your focus on me. Let me pour this into your life. Mm -hmm. Let me speak this into your life. Mm -hmm. Let me prophesy this to you. Mm -hmm. Let me open my word to you. Mm -hmm. Let me expose this to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I hear you're crying, Mm -hmm. but wait here for a minute. I'm going to do that in a couple of months, but this needs to be fixed. I'm working behind the scene. I'm pulling strings on your behalf. As Pastor Wayne reminded us, I stand, listen, I stand outside of time and space. Yes, yes. I see this going over yes. here. I see this going over yes. here. I see two years from now what's going to happen. Yes. I see what happened in the past. Yes. I see what's happening now. Yes. yes, I am the puppet master, as another preacher yes. has said. <laughs> I'm shifting things around. Yes, yes. I'm coordinating Hallelujah. for you. This is who I am. Yes. So you want to be aligned to yes. me. And we want to make Glory. sure that we're aligned to him. Thank you, Jesus. So I have reintroduced you to him and I gladly do it. Mm-hmm. The word of God and the spirit of God came to me as I was in prayer on Wednesday, him said, listen, reintroduce me to my people. Hallelujah. Reintroduce Yeshua mm-hmm. was the word that come because many times we forget the God we serve. Yes. Many times we forget our Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus Christ. So I wanted to take that opportunity to stick that right in the midst hmm. of everything. I said, this is who you serve. This is who you want to yes. follow. Don't follow man, hmm. follow Yeshua. Mm. 
And just to give you a snippet of what it means to follow Yeshua, because do you know one of the important things we want to do? We want to pull down and mash down the lies of false doctrines and false teachings. Because many times we think that what does following Yeshua mean? Like yes, mm -hmm. we know that salvation means that yes, I'm saved, I'm healed, I'm delivered, and I'm going to continue to pray and trust God and speak and prophesy it into mm -hmm. my life. But the day to day, what is expected of me as a follower of Christ? Because I was guilty of that when I was got uh, saved, when I was young, I didn't know. I said, okay, I'm a Christian now. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I know that I'm not going to hell. Mm -hmm. But what else? I didn't know else that I'm supposed to do. I'm just going through the motions. Mm -hmm. But what is it now that I'm supposed to now do? Now that we are saved, what? <laughs> now that I'm saved. Now that I know this Lord and Savior, now what? Mm -hmm. Now that you have been reintroduced and you have made yourself reacquainted with the Savior, you may discover that, listen, you know what? I, I thought I knew him when I was a child, when I mm -hmm. got saved years mm -hmm. ago. Many of you think that you were walking with him for years now. As I said, as a child, I thought that I was really a Christian in the sense of the earth. But many times we are not. <laughs> if we know what it truly means to be a Christian, I think we all have to go in repentance. I have to repent. Mm -hmm. Because many times what we are doing right now, I'm, I'm really not sure many times what we are doing, but in the true sense of what it meant to be a Christian and why the apostles were right, called Christians by right yes. then, we have fallen short. <clears throat> you may have been saved for a number of years. You may have walked the walk, taught the talked. You may have done the faith without works and the works without faith. <laughs> but there's actually a mark that shows that if you're truly a follower of Yeshua, and people are going to say, oh, times have changed. You know, that doesn't apply yeah. Get anymore. With the program. Get with the program. Mm -hmm. We're staying current and modern. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some of us, you know, we, as I said, for a while we have been following, and I know people who follow cooking shows. <laughs> I know people follow cooking shows, not that they want to know how to cook. They just love food. <laughs> They just are watching. They're just watching they it. Want I want to, want to see the it. food. They don't really want to go in the, 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 the kitchen and do it. Some of people follow house in shows. They don't follow a house. They don't plan to follow a house, but they just like the idea. We never it. build our construct. They just we never build our construct. We just want to watch. <laughs> and, but there's a different thing when we follow him. And, and I want to ask the question now. Would we be accused like Peter? You know, when Peter was accused after Yeshua Christ was, was, um, arrested and I said I, I know you you was you was with Yeshua you always post things on Facebook by Jesus Christ but Yeshua I know that you're a Christian you were been with him you were with Christ you always are going to these conferences you always uh, encourage people and account to people on social media and tell them that listen Christ is away you were with him hmm. would you be accused like Peter that you had been with Yeshua Hmm. And I'm not going to touch the, the denying part that he did, but could you be one that was identified, identified because, of your actions. because of your actions with hmm. Yeshua? How do people now make this identification? How did they make that identification with Peter that he was with Yeshua? Hmm. It may have been the custom. Normally, he probably dressed like him. They said that some of them said your speech betrays you. Mm -hmm. We know that right now we can't really dress. Not even Israel dressed like how they did back then. Mm -hmm. Some of them, you know, we have the Orthodox one. We can't even necessarily examine ourselves on the, on the, on the, on, on, in the area of dress. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a modesty that is required. Mm -hmm. As a follow of Yeshua, you won't be expect that you will be dressed in a way that allows temptation to follow people. Mm -hmm. We can't even say that the language that we are, we can be judged by our language and speech. Many of us do not speak Hebrew or Greek or mm -hmm. Aramic mm -hmm. or Latin, if you want to go that far. So we can't even necessarily examine ourselves on that area. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but one of the areas that we can examine ourselves to see if we are a true follower of Yeshua is by our mannerisms yes. and our actions. If people are in a gang or in a crew, you know, even a dance troupe, they all dress the same. They all have the same moves. They all sometimes carry the same weapon, a bike, a gang. They even ride in the same bikes. You tend to start looking or displaying some of the slangs. I remember um, Sister Grace, and I think it's maybe on the last week, you program, they're saying that, listen, when you hang around with your friends, you start talking with them, yeah, talking like talking them. Like them. You're picking up some of the, you pick up some of the same mannerisms, mm -hmm. whether or not you didn't want to after a while. You're like, oh, you know, yeah, we all say this. Mm -hmm. You all pick up the same mannerisms. Do we have the same mannerisms as Yeshua? And I don't mean like saying ye, thou, and all that, that old English, but is our speech similar? Is our speech the, the, the speech of faith? <clears throat> 
would we be caught off guard of saying that, yes, I know that is a follow-up Yeshua? One of the other ways that we can examine this is to look at the things that the disciple did. One of the things that I do when I study the word, as I said, I'm trying to be a follow-up Yeshua. I look and I say, I am a follower of Yeshua. I have to know who Yeshua is. Mm -hmm. And I've reintroduced you to him so you know who the man is. Yes. What were his manneris mannerisms? The best place that I can go to if I said I want to be a follower, I want to be a disciple, I want to do what in, Ant in, in, in Antioch um, Paul was doing, that they look at him and say, oh, they were first called Christians in Antioch. Yes, 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 yes. What was he doing that was like what Yeshua is doing? Hmm. Am I doing it? Hmm. It's a simple cause and effect. It's, it's a simple analysis. If I want to be like someone, I have to look what it takes to be like that person mm -hmm. and see if it matches up, right? Yes. Do, do you agree that that, that, that makes sense, it right? Makes sense, yes. So we go to the disciples. We go to the early church. What is the things that they were doing? Because if they were the first ones to be called Christians and disciples, and if, if he handpicked them, mm -hmm. <laughs> he handpicked them, mm -hmm. what is it? They must have caught something about Yeshua. Mm -hmm. They must have known, he must have known where they were going. Yes. He knows their end and their beginning. Yes. He must have known that they were going to do some things right. Of course, they may have fallen short and do some things wrong because yes. they're humans. Mm -hmm. So let's see and compare. I like using the book of Acts because the Acts is described as ordinary people doing extraordinary, extraordinary acts. acts. Yes. Acts is where the church was being formed, where the early believers, where after Christ ascended, he said, go into all the world and preach, preach the gospel. The gospel. Yes. You know, he basically said, wait for the comforter, wait for Holy Spirit to come. Yes. So Holy Spirit had now come and descended and the people were empowered and they were going. Mm -hmm. So let me see what is it. What, what I should act out, I really should, should go to say as a Christian. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me start with Acts chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2, verse 14, it says, Peter preached to the crowd. Mm -hmm. And you know why it's so important to do this? Because even as a church now, we do many things. Yes. And many things that we do, it's not in the Bible. Yes. It's man-made tradition yes. and it's religion. Yes. So I have to go back to the Bible and I have to contrast and compare. Yes. What were they doing? Did Jesus do it? Mm -hmm. Right now, you have to do it. What am I saying? Did Jesus say? What am I doing? Did Jesus do it? Mm -hmm. We are not called to follow a denomination or anything. As I keep saying, we are called Christians, yes. Christians, Yeshuaans, as I want to say, mean that we are follower of him. You're right, Evangelist. And, and may I interject there? Just so, because you're making some very potent and very powerful points. And sometimes I really want to underscore some things. Um, with, the, with the Israelites, because of the, the the entire history that we see as theologians mm -hmm. documented as they they were they were captured by Babylon. Yes, yes. They were under the Persian leadership. Mm -hmm. So they were in Egypt. And as they were captured by these different kingdoms, yes. and as they were, mm -hmm. well, in Egypt, they just stayed, overstayed their welcome and ended up becoming slaves. Yes. And so in these uh, in these societies that they were a part of while they were under the kingdom and the influences of these cultures, yes. they picked up certain cultural practices which yes. were not according to the teachings yes. of the Torah. Mm -hmm. And so they started mm -hmm. mixing and mingling yes cultures of yes. paganism yes. and 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 hedonistic practices mm -hmm. into church practices mm -hmm. so now we find that uh we see now where the, the the modern jews when christ appeared on the scene a lot of what they were projecting yeah. and advocating were not necessarily things that were from the scripture yes but yes. they were from social yes. practices that yes. they have gathered Picked from the different the society that they yes. come from yes. and, and i like what we say and and, and, and Sister Nesha is saying it there, and Sister Grace is endorsing that. It, it has, is the same kind of infiltration yes. and kind of mind that bending. Exactly There's right. a spirit that operates, yes. and we are going to teach about spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. So if you continue with us in, in the Bible study, even with Moses, and so we can we can throw in some of those. There's yes. a spirit that exists today that is called a mind bending spirit. Mm. What it does is that it, it infiltrates your perspective, even when you have the truth it wow. persuades you to the lie yes. and you are like even though i know that 
this is true. Yeah. I still, yeah. I still mm -hmm. have compact. I still yes. feel like yes. it's, it's okay. Yes. You are, yes. the, the truth Compromise. is staring you in the yes. face and you are still doing the yes. wrong thing. Yes. Yes. And you are like, why am I persuaded that even though I know the truth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's mind bending mm -hmm. spirits. It's, it's things that people use. They are so, the Bible call them seducers. Be, be careful of the, yes. the seducers in the last yes. days who will speak so swaying words mm -hmm. that they will persuade even the very elect if you if you allow yourself to be persuaded yes so yes. i just wanted to underscore that with you making that very yes. strong point yes. that it is something that we really need to focus on yes just to make sure that we really get that into yes. our spirit and Go even ahead. as you said that i'm reminded of Amo yeshua said be careful of the leaven of yes the Pharisees, that yes. Long. and yes. i'm just a member of the of a peer that's one of the things that we try to do is try to keep the feast because mm -hmm. the feast of the, um of the bible they symbolize something yes it and does. there's a period that's called um the feast of unleavened bread unleavened bread and that's a period where you remove from your home everything that have leaven mm -hmm. and it allows you to reflect on just removing the sin mm -hmm. and the things in your life that are causing you to compromise mm -hmm. and we'll be sharing more about that um as we go on in the next couple of weeks because yes. we have opened it up we have shared the schedule of the feast and said listen if you choose to follow it it's not mandatory but yes. it has so many benefits benefits because it brings you back to a point and a place of reflection yes i see sister brianna's hand up sister yes. brianna you may go ahead with your point mm -hmm. um my point was just gonna say i really like the analogy that you did with the whole social media and following people and things like that and how we're meant to be christians because a lot of the times the same people that we follow on our actual social media we start being like, I mean, I guess you use their name and put EN at the end of it mm -hmm. and you start adapting to that person and you start acting like them, dressing like them, whatever they spit out of their mouth, you eat up like it's um, the best food that you've ever had. Um, and it's, 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 uh, I guess it's kind of a dangerous thing. I guess it's interesting that they call it being a follower of that person because it's mm -hmm. almost like kind of idolatry in a way yeah, yeah. when you get to that point where you're like falling. Like, I know there's like, you can like certain things and stuff like that and have fun with it, but like there's certain like degrees that you can go to where it's like you start basically building your entire life around this thing. And, um, I just thought it was very interesting that that's what you chose to put it as. And yes, we can use that as like an analogy for like the positive side of like following Christ and stuff like that. But there's also the other side of it of like um, when you start acting like changing who you are to be like these other things and these other people. Images. <laughs> whether you're a person or not, that's idolatry yeah. because you're changing yourself to be like this person the only person we're supposed to change to be like is like god is like christ otherwise be you do you wow. right so that's why that is so powerful um you you, you really started yes. a little fire there um sister brianna because um mm -hmm. Uh, when we talk about last week when we were doing Genesis, I don't know if you remember when we said that God created Jesus. in in, in Genesis okay. when we started Genesis last week in prayer yes. and the word. And I pulled from Genesis one, and I think it is verse twenty seven and twenty eight when he says that God created male sexes, male and female, in His image and likeness. And mm. then we talk, we use the term image Christ forth into mm. the earth. It is so important because what they're doing is projecting an image yes, on you. Yes, this is so, yes, it's so deep yes, what you just said, Sister yes. Brianna, that it is such a spiritual mm. insight. And I wish that that's something that you're going to have to reshare with our young people because yes. um, we have got to be careful of what image we take oh. on. Mm. We are created. Mm. Notice when Christ, and, and, and I, I just want to make this one point and hand over mm. back to you, mm. Evangelist. Mm. Um, um, when Christ was asked, um, should we pay taxes? There's a very important nugget that was hidden in what Christ mm -hmm. said. Christ said something and he said it. He said, he said to the people that, listen, uh, whose face is on this coin? Mm -hmm. And when the people looked at the coin, they said, Caesar. And he says, well, give to Caesar that which is Caesar's and to God's. What is God? Okay, now everybody get the point of give to Caesar what is Caesar because he was answering the question of taxation, but Christ started opening another thing there and says, give to God what is God? What is God's? 
in the beginning we were created in the image in other words fierce image is on his coin so that's fierce thing you were created in the image and likeness of god so you are in the image of god so give unto god yourself yes because you are god's image yes. <laughs> you are supposed to image god out to the world and so when we are given anything don't worry about the money so much worry about the vessel worry about the image that god has put you in which is himself and that's what you're supposed to image for it so when the world look at you they're supposed to see god yes. i say that to say that the following of what you just broke down sister yes. brianna yes. in terms of talking Thank about you, and what you just spoke mm -hmm. evangelist is so potent mm -hmm. i don't want people to miss this i want to really underscore it mm -hmm. who are you following who are you imaging yes. who are you shaping yes. yourself yes. after when yes. god says yes. i have made you of the highest image that yes. can ever be yes. some yes. people yes. are changing their hair color mm -hmm. to look like whomever they are fans of and whenever they are following god is saying i have created you in my yes, image yes, so you should yes, be yes, imaging yes, me for yes, and so follow me yes powerful yes, teaching yes, evangelist yes. keep going i remember when i was younger mm -hmm. um, in high school when it was all tony braxton thing and everybody had the tony yes, braxton the here <laughs> and and that. yes because it's all about wanting to be um accepted, in image you know? yes you know because we believe that if we have that image and representation will be accepted mm. and i'm remembered of the story of nebuchadnezzar who built that idol yeah and he said that listen when you hear the music played you should bow down, bow down and worship, and worship. The image yes, of Nebuchadnezzar. Yes, yes. And we know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego mm -hmm. who decide that, listen, they are not going to bow. And it will come to the point, and that's where I'm going to go with this direction. It's come to the point where you may stand alone as a Christian. You yes. may stand alone in your school, in your home, hmm. with your family, with your friends, where you're going to say, listen, I'm not going to bow to that image. Bow to this image. <laughs> it may be. And the, the powerful thing about what they said, they said, they said, you know what? We know our God is able to deliver us. Mm. But even if he chooses not, not to, to deliver we're still us, not bow to your he image. will not bow. <laughs> we know our God is able to heal us, and yes. we believe that he's going to heal us. But if he chooses not to at this time, we will not bow. We, not. we know that he's able Hallelujah. to deliver us, to strengthen us, to provide us. Down. But if he chooses, then we, we will, will not bow. bow. And we have to be a church <laughs> that is going to be the church out of the church. Because you know what? God has a remnant. Just as in the days of the prophet Elijah, when Elijah was complaining, God, all the prophets have gone, have been killed. And said, so, listen, mm -hmm. I have reserved for me a remnant. Mm -hmm. And God is looking for a remnant out of the church, one that's going to set apart. And yes, people are going to say, oh, you're old school. Mm -hmm. You're um, you're just uh, unconventional. Mm -hmm. You can't relate. You're not getting the times on the program. Mm -hmm. But you are the one that's going to have to stand to the end to stand up for righteousness. Yes. And even as I'm going on with this message, it's directing you to make a point and it's bringing to you to a place where you're going to have to make a, make, 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 make a choice. Hmm. You're going to have to make a choice where you're going to have to be bold. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be truly as a Christian of the Bible, the way that they were. People mm -hmm. gonna call me old school, but I will choose to obey God rather than, than man. man yes. I choose to do what the word of God say because if I know if I follow the word of God, I am more on the safe side yes. than people who are telling me right now say it no longer applies to now. <laughs> and in Acts chapter 2, verse 14, we see, as I said, where Peter preached to the crowd. Jesus preached to the crowd. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's an example of what He's a disciple following do. Christ. Yes. He's following Christ. Yes. Christ preached. Therefore, he Peter preached. Preach, yes. Therefore, we should preach. Yes. And the preaching that you do, it Sympathy. may not be in the forum right now. It can be in your household, yes. to your children, yes. everyone that you come in contact with. with. And, and you know what? Everything share the enemy meant for evil, God made for good. Even social media right yes, now. Share Christ. Every post that you make about share Christ, Christ man. you are sharing Christ. You are preaching Christ. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 3, mm -hmm. Peter heals a crippled beggar. Mm -hmm. Jesus healed. Yes. Therefore, we are expected to, to be to healed. Heal. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are expected to pray for people mm -hmm. and lay hands on people and believe God that they are healing Hallelujah. people because he did it. Yes. Healing in this case, too, it applies to deliverance. Yes. It applies to laying on of hands. Yeah, Everything that yes. the disciples did mm -hmm. and Yeshua did, we should also do it Hallelujah. because the word of God says it. Mm -hmm. 
Again, in Acts 3, I see where Peter preaches in the temple. <laughs> we are supposed to be preaching in the temple, preaching in the church format. Mm -hmm. Some people have said, okay, the building, not necessarily. He did it in, in the, the temple. temple. Yes. He did it outside of the temple. Yes. So we are going to do it in the church. And we're, and we're, we're also going to do it outside Christ of the church. <laughs> Acts chapter 4 to 5, mm -hmm. we saw where Peter and John were confronted by rulers mm -hmm. and met opposition. Yes. Yeshua was confronted by rulers. Yes. And these are religious rulers. Yes. And these are city rulers. Yes. They were confronted by rulers, meaning that they weren't preaching what was popular. Yes. Therefore, we are not going to preach what is, is popular. popular. And mm -hmm. we are going to be confronted by religious rulers. Yes. You're going to be confronted by government. Yes. Because Yeshua was. Yes. In <laughs> Acts chapter 6 to 7, Stephen was arrested and killed for his faith. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, we oh, don't want to hear that one. We don't want to hear the one about persecution. The time is coming, though. The time is the coming, time says is the Bible. Coming. Mm -hmm. Yeshua was arrested and mm -hmm. killed for his faith. Mm -hmm. And the cycle tends to continue throughout the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. Preaching, healing, teaching, opposition, confrontation, imprisonment. Yes. Then it continues. Yes. Preaching, healing, teaching, opposition or confrontation, imprisonment or persecuted for their faith. Mm. We may not all face the same repercussions of being a follower, mm. but we are not excluded. And the time will come when the church at large, which speaks the truth of the word of God, will be persecuted. Yes. That's what it means to be a follower. Mm. So we need to check if we really are followers. But I dare say, that we do not face the things that Yeshua and the early church did mm -hmm. because we have not been preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. We have not been preaching the kingdom of God and the truth of God's word. We have been afraid to call what is wrong, wrong and speak about what is right, right. Mm -hmm. Because we have gotten to the point where we want to be politically correct. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. And pastor, I'm going to touch it. Touch it. It is <laughs> the word of the gospel which brought the opposition and offense to political to political and religious systems. Yes. The truth that the Messiah, mm -hmm. Yeshua Amashia, has mm -hmm. come to redeem the world and that we are all lost mm -hmm. and perishing without his saving yes. grace. However, the church or the so-called church has chosen to be politically correct, correct. Mm -hmm. and have abandoned the teaching of the word of God mm -hmm. so as not to offend. Mm -hmm. It's because we care for our lives and are comfortable, the comfortness of our lives, mm -hmm. more than the soul of others. Mm -hmm. We have chosen not to take up our cross, mm -hmm. which means to deny self deny and deny self. flesh Come on. and follow me. Yes. And Yeshua said, if you cannot take up your cross and deny follow. yourself <laughs> and follow him, you are not worthy of you're him. You're not. So if you are thinking more about how you're going to look for your co-workers, mm -hmm. about your job, yes. about your friends on social media, mm -hmm. how the government, they're going to take this, or oh, I can't speak privilege. against Come on. the sexualities, mm -hmm. or oh, I can't speak about se marriage is a man and woman. Mm -hmm. If you are more care about that over the word of God, mm -hmm. Yeshua said you are not worthy You're not of worthy. Me. <laughs> Taking up your cross means dying to self and flesh and the desires of the world. Mm -hmm. I dare to Dare to say that we are not true Christians. Mm -hmm. We are not true followers of Yeshua according to the word. Mm -hmm. And we must all therefore repent of our idolatrous ways. Yes. As we have made ourselves and sacrificed the word mm -hmm. for our own self-pleasures. Wow. In closing, us, us, because we like to drive the cars it's and we true. like to put on the clothes and we, and we want, want to, to live the, in the house. Get the grants and the benefits I, I want to do that. I, I don't <laughs> want to go and feed the poor and be. Yes. I don't want to tell people say you're living in sin and repent. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be. Look, look, Pastor. Look what happened to John the, John Baptist. the Baptist. John the Baptist was beheaded because he was preached against the leaders. I don't want to be beheaded. I want to see my kids go old. I want to see the grandkids. Nobody kids. wants to be militant for God. Yeshua said, "If you can't take up your cross and follow me, mm -hmm. you are." Worry not worthy of me mm -hmm. it says they were called christians in antioch mm -hmm. because they were preaching and teaching, and teaching the word of like we are not meant to be popular as christians yes. we are meant to be set like apart a holy nation we are not mm -hmm. meant to blend in we are meant to preach the gospel Glory, because there's hallelujah. a dying and a perishing yes, world yes. and we see them dying and perishing mm -hmm. but
but I don't want to offend them. Oh. They are falling off the cliff as and there's a yeah, video. If yeah, you come gonna, join us on Friday, join youth this service. message You're gonna continues see this one on a youth, youth thing with the imagery. Mm -hmm. They are perishing, but you know what? As long as I'm safe ah. and my family's safe, and with our AC homes, home and car. And my <laughs> AC home, I watch it on the news. I will watch it on the news and say, oh, let's oh, pray against gosh, these strongholds. Oh, they are perishing in their sin. But I'm not gonna say that. Listen. Yeshua, Jesus Christ, loves you. Mm -hmm. He hates the sin, but he loves you as a sinner. Yes. And he came to die for you. There's a better way. There's a better mm -hmm. way to eternal life. I, I, I know you may not believe in my God, but I have a responsibility to tell you. And I trust Holy Spirit Hallelujah. to minister to the world. I am not Holy Spirit. I don't have the responsibility to force you, mm -hmm. but I have a responsibility to tell, tell you, you the truth. You the what truth. you do with the truth of God's word is up, up to you. you. My mm -hmm. responsibility it's as a follower of truth. Yeshua is to tell you the truth. And the truth says God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son mm -hmm. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. God in his word said these things that you are doing are sin mm -hmm. and they are wrong mm -hmm. and the wages of sin is death but the, but gift, the gift of God, of God is, is eternal, eternal love life. through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. You don't have to continue in your depression. Mm -hmm. You don't have to continue in sin. Yes. yes it's a journey for some of us but we lock hands and we join in prayer for you and we continue to speak Hallelujah. and proclaim the goodness of the word Hallelujah. of God. Yes yes Yes, yes, the blood yes, is yes, still true. Yes. The blood of Jesus has not lost its power. The blood that was shed on Calvary, oh, he yeah. has the power to heal, yes. to deliver, and to set you free. Yes. But it's the accuser, the enemy, do not want you to come into the goodness of the word of God. The accuser of the saints do not want you to have eternal life. Mm -hmm. He does not want you to have that abundant life. Mm -hmm. He does not want you to have that relationship with Christ. Come he on. is a hater. Mm -hmm. He hates you. He hates mankind. Yes. And his objective is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Come on. Not just to steal from you, not just to kill you, but he wants to destroy. Come so on. he's bringing you on the path of destruction. Come but on. Christ Yeshua said, came. Mm -hmm. I came to give you life Thanks. and life abundantly. Hallelujah. And he loves you with his everlasting love. Yes. And I pray that you may feel his love yes. right now. A love that will bring you to repentance. Yes. His love that will reconcile you to God. Come on. You have a good, good father. Yes. You have Appreciate a good father. Father, who from the beginning in Genesis 3, 15, when man disobeyed, he said the seed of the woman yes. shall crush the head of the serpent. Yes. He made a redemption plan for you from yes. the beginning. Yes. And I pray that you will hear. I pray that you will repent. I pray that you will seek your faith. Yes. Yes. And that's my responsibility. You may not like it when I tell you. You may persecute me when I tell you. Yes. You may be offended when I tell you. Preacher. You may unfriend me on Facebook when <laughs> I put my post. Uh -huh. Come on. But I have a responsibility because I'm not an ordinary person. I am a follower of Christ. Yes. I want to live up to yes. what it means to be a Christian. Yes. I am a Yeshua and as I said, so yes. I'm going to do what he did. I'm yes. going to speak what he spoke. Yes. I'm going to say what he said. Yes. And if I'm offended for it, I am offended but I know where my soul is. Uh -huh. I do not live for this world. Yes. I am not of this world. Mm. If my hope was in this world, the Lord, I will be a man most perishing. That is who we hmm. follow. And in closing, in the question of the day, Yeshua was harsher on those who were called by the name oh. of Yah, who were supposed to be his chosen people, oh, yeah. just as we Christians now are supposed to be his chosen people. Mm -hmm. He was he was mad at them, he was harsh at them, so to speak, hmm. because they should have known better. Hmm. They should have been the ones setting the examples, mm -hmm. but they are departed from his laws mm -hmm. and did their own thing. Mm -hmm. They were basically being hypocrites mm -hmm. while a sinner was just a sinner at the point that they could and would repent. Mm -hmm. The church leaders sin in those days included their pride, yes. they were self-righteous, mm -hmm. and they were choosing man-made rules over the commandments of Yah. Mm -hmm. Likewise, we do as a church. Mm -hmm. We have all these man-made customs and practices, and then we make excuses for them. Yes. Well, we must take heed of the scolding that Yeshua gave to the scribes and the Pharisees. Hmm. 
read back the Bible, everything in scolding to do. Sometimes some of us need that scolding. Mm-hmm. And we must repent. Yes. Come on. I will end Nobody with not this. preaching repentance. Say it, man. I, will, I have to <laughs> repent, Pastor, when I read this. I said, Father, I, I, I messed up. I preach mean, it. I, because I don't want to lose certain things. We don't speak, we don't speak it, but we're going to have to speak to it. Yes. I will end with this in Romans 6, verse 1. <laughs> Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Hallelujah. Because the church has riding out that grace sermon and make it an excuse for the things that we did. We make it an excuse as to what... Check your history for some of the things that the church is doing now. Yes. Check the history of where Sunday worship versus Sabbath coming to play. Yes. Check the history of Easter. Check the history. Why are we not doing the feast? Check the Easter, Why are we not doing yes, Passover? Yes. Why are we not doing 11? But the early church did it and Christ did it and I'm a follower of Christ. So yes. I am going to commit myself to do it. Why are we not preaching against what is wrong? Why are we not preaching that homosexuality is wrong? Worse. Fruitful, multiply, replenish. That yes. commission cannot be fulfilled. And they may block this on YouTube. They may block it on Facebook. But that cannot be hmm. fulfilled. Preach it. Fruitful, multiply, replenish. That cannot be fulfilled with two people of the same sex. The devil is the father of lies. Hmm. And I pray that you may come into truth and stop relying upon grace for continue in sin Mm -hmm. and that if you are walking in sin right now that you repent and seek jesus christ yeshua as lord Mm -hmm. i have a christian as i say i have repent because i've compromised preaching the word of god Mm -hmm. so as not to to be an offense to anyone we should preach the gospel in love Mm -hmm. we should speak the truth but it should be in love Mm -hmm. let me make a distinction if you are a sinner, we love you mm-hmm. and we preach it in love. Mm-hmm. But if you are a church or a church leader who is pe- who is preaching, preaching a wrong yeah. doctrine mm-hmm. for people to apostasy. repent, apostasy mm-hmm. will be harsh, just as Christ was harsh and the Pharisees and the scribes. And we say you should repent and preach what God has said in his word to preach. Mm-hmm. And I hand over to you, Pastor. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a word. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wherever you are right now, just get into a mode of worship. I do believe that this is a call for repentance. It is a call for all of us, all of us to get into a place of repentance, because that is what I think is needed. I think that's what God is calling us to do. And, you know, I I really feel led at this point that we just have to get into a mode of prayer. I understand if you have to do whatever, but I, I know that God is calling us at this point to get to a place where we surrender our all. We need to say not nevertheless. It is okay at some point for our flesh to make us feel like a sense of timidity and 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 even sometimes feel some form of uh, what you call dread towards the things that we face because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities and powers and rulers and spiritual wickedness in high places when my government is a part of it, rulers. And so a lot of these things that are done right now is to move, it's the antichrist yes, spirit yes, to yes, move yes. us away from the teachings yes, and the yes, way of yes, Christ. Yes. The evangelists has spoken today mm-hmm. and call us back to repentance. Yes. Let us follow Christ, mm-hmm. follow Christ. Mm-hmm. I am going in my sackcloth and ashes. I advise you wherever you are, if you're within earshot of my voice, get, make an altar and go before God and let us pray. I'm going to just play a verse of this song as we, we want to come into surrender. We want to come into surrender as we say, Lord, we surrender all to you today. And we just get ourselves into that moment of prayer. We just want to pray. See God's face.
within earshot of our voice today God is calling for us to get into repentance just recite this prayer with us today if you're a backslider the Holy Spirit is the one that brings the conviction it says that there are two things it's our conscience and the word that brings us to a place of repentance that brings us to a place of conviction and the word has gone forth I'm sure the Spirit of God is speaking. There are things in our life that we have compromised on. And that is the thing with the anointing of the office of the evangelist. It is, a, it is a speaking that pricks the very core of our heart to repentance. And I do believe that the Spirit of, the, of, of, the, of God, which has anointed the office of the evangelist, has spoken and has called us all to say, let us come and kneel before God and repent and speak that from this day onward, we are gonna fix our eyes on Yeshua. We are gonna fix our eyes on Yahweh. Whatever it is that he has commanded us to do, that is what we will do. Whatever he has commanded us to speak, that is what we will speak. And this day forward, not my will, but yours be done. Pray this prayer with me, Father, in the name of Yeshua, I come before you. We have sinned. Lord God, we have fallen short of your glory. Forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Receive us into your divine plan of blessing. And Lord God, we purpose in our heart this day that we are going to walk according to your word. You and you alone will be our God, Yahweh. You and you alone will be our guide. You and you alone will be the truth that we hold on to. Let God be true and every man a liar. Forgive us, cleanse us, wash us. And now purify our hearts that we might be worthy to praise you. As you did for the prophet Elijah, the prophet, the prophet Isaiah, take the coal from the fire. And Lord God, place it on our unholy parts. Touch our lips, touch our mind, touch our ears. Let us not have itching ears. Touch our eyes mm -hmm. that we may look only to the things that are eternal and take our eyes off the things that are temporal, which is what the enemy wants us to do. Mm -hmm. God, we commit our ways unto you now and we say forgive us and receive us unto yourself. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray. Everybody say amen. amen. Ah, what a wonderful blessing. Thank you so much, Evangelist, for bringing that word today. My heart is watered. My soul is blessed. I am encouraged. I pray that you were encouraged. And I pray that you may go ahead and share this message out. Um, it may not be popular, but it is necessary. Some things are painful to receive, but they are truth that we need. And we bless God this day for you allowing God to use you in such a powerful way to bring his word. May the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the comfort in our rest, remain and abide with us all until we fellowship again. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful Shabbat day, Shabbat guys. Shalom. Shabbat shalom and enjoy the rest of your day's rest as you continue to meditate on him. God bless Amen. you. God the praise. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.